Hey, so I have just done a live stream about uh, Rockset real-time analytics database, but that was absolutely terrible. The quality from the screen share was terrible. So I just going to do that small video that is going to uh, show you what I have done. Overall, I think it's a cool thing. It's a cool platform. I have been approached by Rockset lately and uh, recently in November and they said, look, can you look into that? Uh, and I've said, yeah, why not? I'm always interested in new tools. Uh, and yeah, so I just went through the tutorial. So here's the Rockset website. And basically what I did, what they say, real-time analytics at cloud scale. Um, the thing what they do is basically here, uh, you have to think of Rockset as uh, it's on, first of all, it's on the cloud and it's like the uh, like a database. And the idea is you have your data sources like streams or data warehouses or operational databases or also yeah, for data lakes uh, where you have files. And you can integrate these sources into Rockset and then uh, query your data and create query lambdas. And what query lambdas basically are, query lambdas are basically APIs. So I think it's really interesting. I have already tried, I can show you what I did. Is and, and the cool thing is that you can integrate very easily your sources and you can then make them available. So so what did I do? Here's what I did. First, I said, okay, I, here's the, uh, I went through the quick start tutorial. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to link that down below. And in that tutorial, basically, um, I created a, a account and then I went into the console and I created two new collections. And what I did is you can create a collection and then you see uh, basically the, the collections that they offer. They offer very cool MongoDB, DynamoDB, two document stores, a Kinesis and Kafka for streaming data, uh, Cloud Storage S3 for just files, and a MySQL Postgres for your databases. So very nice. Uh, the sources that they have, they also have a custom integration, which I don't know. And then what I went, what I uh, moved to is sample data sets. And then I selected uh, basically the movie data set and the movie ratings data set. And then I just created these, basically went here, selected the, the data set, then selected the instance, uh, how this sh should run on which, um, yeah, in the background on, on a, basically what servers this should run. I, w I chose C12 shared. There are also uh, other virtual instances that you can use here, uh, dedicated or shared. So I just used the C12 shared for this and then created these two collections. Uh, movie ratings is a very simple collect. No, the other one, let me go back. The, the, um, my movies is, no, damn it. I think the movie ratings was, Ah, yeah, this one, this one has the movie ratings, which is basically uh, just a, I can I make this? No. Um, where you have ID, event time, then you have meta, where it's basically a JSON in it, and it already like uh, unfolds this or flattens this as meta S3, but the bucket, the offset, the path, and then movie ID rating and user ID from which you, from the users. Uh, so you see each user gives a rating for a movie ID. This is one collection and the other collections is basically the movies. I call this my movies. And this is where you have uh, map them basically your, your movies. You have again the meta with the information. You have, uh, let's go here. You have belongs to, Sometimes it belongs to uh, something specific like uh, Star Trek original series or something. And then you have the genres, which uh, are which is an, an array here or a list. It's a bit tricky to show here. Uh, here you basically this uh, movie belongs to two genres. Uh, as you see here, that's the uh, that's from this. 
And then you have other stuff like home page, home page uh, and so on and so on. So with this, then I said, okay, I want to query data from it. I went to the query editor and I created a query. Uh, what I did is I created two queries in the tutorial. They have a very simple query or a query with parameters where you say, okay, uh, let's just quickly run this. Uh, you get the, the uh, ID of the film, you get the title and you get the popularity. I added this myself because I wanted to see this popularity value. And in this, I also said, um, okay, I want to add two parameters, genre and user ID. So this way, you can get the information per user, basically. And then you query it. And for this, uh, you, we are getting the results as you already have seen. Now, the thing here is querying the data in this user interface, and that doesn't really make sense. And this is where it comes back to how can you use, for instance, apps or or, or your user interface or other pipelines or system or other parts of pipelines to actually query the data. And this is where it comes down here into uh, query lambdas. With query lambdas, once you're in the editor, you can say here save. Now oh, this, I cannot change something here. You can save and then you can say, okay, I want to have a query lambda. They call this query lambda. I would call this just API, a query lambda and where you have these um, these parameters, the genre and the user ID with defaults. And this then creates you a query lambda. And in this query lambda, your API, you have a you have a URL that you can actually call. And you can then say, tell the URL, okay, I want to have uh, uh, the genre is this value, the user ID is this value. They have examples for Python, for instance, how to do this with Python. And then you can already work, almost work with it. The only thing you need to do is you need to give it an API key. So what I went down here is I said, okay, I created an API key. I can reveal this because I delete this at the end. Here's a API key. And with that API key, I can actually query my query Lambda from anywhere. And I, I even prepared this quickly. I went into Python. So I used this Python template. And I just created myself a small Python piece of Python code here. Um, let me make this a bit bigger. So basically where I just, in the API key, I just copied in my API key that I just set uh, API server. And with that, I can actually retrieve the my query Lambda. That's how I called this Lambda here, uh, my query Lambda and uh, say, okay, this is my commons workspace, my parameter genre and user ID action and 100. I could also uh, select here 25. And then I just execute this. At the end, I did a small print here. Oh, I'll make it bigger. And then we could look at the results for this, for user 25. Um, yeah. What was this user's? Uh, most liked uh, film or movie. And it's, it's, it's really cool, like very straightforward how you can integrate your sources, create a collection, boom, boom, put the stuff in and uh, write a query. And this is just simple, simple uh, SQL statements here or SQL uh, uh, yeah. logic. And then, yeah, or almost SQL log logic. And then you end up with your, with your API and you can host your API. We Lambda, boom, boom, this. Create tags for this and so on. And you have it deployed. It's secure through a API key. And then that's, that's how fast you can you can integrate a file. Uh, data warehouse, I'm not actually sure. They say data warehouse here, how they how you can integrate data warehouse because I haven't seen here data warehouse in the collections. Create a collection. I only see here um, uh, OL, uh, OLTP databases, MongoDB, DynamoDB, uh, 
uh, MySQL and Postgres, and then something for the streams and for the cloud storage. But overall, I think it's very cool. It's a thing, a catalog I haven't actually looked into. Uh, looks like you can also set up some, some visualizations. Uh, I haven't looked into that. It's, I think it's a really cool thing. It's very interesting. Usually it's, it's always a bit of the problem, like you have these sources, how do you integrate them together and how to query the data then. Um, it's always tricky. And then the part of making it accessible to others. So with this, I like it. I, I think it's a cool, cool thing, cool, uh, cool tool. Hope this is interesting for you. Comment below if you like these kind of videos. Um, and if you, uh, if you find, uh, if you know Rockset or if you have a, a uh, alternative to Rockset. It would also be interesting. What's the competitor to Rockset here? I haven't actually looked at it. Um, very nice. Leave a like here. Uh, write me a comment and share this with your, with your buddies. Thanks. And see you in the next video.